we are live. Welcome to and or season one, episode 11, Thoughts. This episode is called Daughter of Ferrix. And yeah, yet another amazing episode. The, the, let's see. Yeah, really, really, holy crap. Cassian and Melshi were standing up and like holding on with their, their hands on this nearly sheer rock face and that you know yeah it's, I mean the fact that they they made it out of the prison itself and swam to shore that's not gonna be enough you know like just because the the prison itself has been breached that you know that's not it that's not there there are other imperial forces and they've been you know patrolling you know, yeah, to, to find, and I mean, we only see these two. Maybe some of the others, maybe they weren't physically able to, to cling to rock. Maybe they didn't get to a rock to cling to before the, the these spy, you know, yeah, these other ships, yeah, these, these ships came out to look for them, and they were recaptured or maybe killed on the spot. And just, yeah, you know, even when things really seem to be looking up for the characters on this show, they're still, yeah, but, and then they, you know, it's, it's yet again, yeah. And Marva has passed. Let's see. And I got. I wonder what Cinta is is going to do now. I mean, she basically. Well, yeah. I I guess it's possible that she's going to stay, just in case uh, Cass. And I mean, that is possible. We don't know. You know, he's clearly. It it's it hits him hard that she dies. So there is some chance that he'll come back for the service. And Cinta is watching, and the Empire is watching, so, yeah. And I I don't think I mentioned, I, I honestly, you know, sometimes it takes me a while to, to really, sometimes it takes me an embarrassingly long time to figure out something, but, you know, thinking about the, that thing with, you know, Cinta said, you know, um, let's see, Vel asked Cinta, what are you going, you know, how are, how are you gonna what what's your cover story gonna be for being on Ferrix? And Cinta coldly responds, I'll tell them I'm a rich girl, you know, trying to get away from my family. And and Vel responds, That's cold even for you. You know, and, and at the time I didn't really realize, but yeah, you know, she, and, and then she goes then Cinta says, I'm a mirror. You love me because I show you what you want to see. And yeah, you know, she's basically, like, Vel is saying, I don't know if this is such a good idea, and Cinta is basically, like, she's like, it's going to be a while before you and I can be in the same place. The best thing to do, you know, I, I don't know if she is, if it's outright, like, let's, let's part on bad terms rather than good terms, but certainly, like, you know, we have to stop you know, because cause it was, you know, on Aldani, like, Vel was like, are we are we really doing this? And Cinta was the one who had to, you know, get her to, yeah, we, we are doing this, we have to do this, kind of thing. And, yeah, you know, that it's maybe easier if you, if you try to be really harsh with one another. Now, is that good? Do we have a choice? Are we playing questions only? And Cass and Mel, she make a run for the ship, but are caught in a net, which is what the kids were calling it these days. And it, it was, you know, nice tension and suspense with the, you know, the Narkinians, which the, yeah, if you, if you have closed captioning on, that is confirmed, they are Narkinians and they speak, Nark, you know, when, when they speak an alien language that isn't, you know, translated, you know, yeah, they, they are, in fact, speaking Narkinian. And 
and let's see the yeah and and you know they know well they must have they must be prison escapees you know a thousand for each of them and you know at first it seems like they blame the prisoners for the prison ruining the water and you know yeah dictatorships do ruin what they get near and sometimes you know regular people will be mad at you know the the people that if ah what's the word Uh, I want to make a reference, but that's technically a spoiler. Um, yeah. You know, yeah, in, in this situation, you know, they, they, yeah. And, you know, ultimately the Narcanians do hate the Empire so much, you know, they, they release them and even let them use the ship, which, I mean, they're not getting that back, are they? I mean, I guess it's possible that a Narkinian went with them on the ship and flies back, but otherwise they're not getting that thing back. So, yeah, that's how much they hate the Empire, and yeah, of course they do, you know, the, yeah, so, so that was, that was a nice little, and, and this thing of, you know, desperate, Luth, uh, Cassian, desperately trying to understand what they're saying and counter argue because this really is like if they you know if they manage to talk the narkinians out of this you know they they have a shot but if the narkinians to think well you know there's money to be made, you know and they're talking about you know the prison from the water we can't catch we we struggle to catch fish now you know these guys who escape from prison they're going to make us a lot of money and let's see. Yeah, so so Vel talks to Clea and you know, basically like Vel is like, no, we you know, you, you have to listen to me, you have to do this, this, and this. And Clea is like, you really don't understand how you know this is much because because yeah, you know, Vel was the leader of one cell, which at this point, were, were there two other people left alive? You know, it's her, Cinta, and uh, Cass. And, yeah, you know, she, she says, I gave him Aldani, what have you given him recently? And, you know, she lays it out. I, yeah, you know, Vel has been hyper-focused on Aldani for, what, what, what was it they said? Was it six months? It was It was months, certainly. In her mind, that's basically it. You know, now we can start on other stuff. But but to Clay, it's like we've been doing other stuff all along. You know, yeah, it's it's big, but you know, I mean, it's basically, you are a cog in our machine, in the machine that Luthen and I run. And if you, you know, if you don't, you're you're gonna do what we want you to, how we want you to. Or you're going to be replaced. And, you know, we see Bix again. And, oh, we don't actually hear her answer, do we? Now, I, I just realized, I don't think we, we heard. Like, we, we see that she, you know, like she struggles with the decision. But, the, the, yeah. I, yeah. I think they went further with it this time also. But I, I forget if I called out... They really did a great job on her makeup, and the actress does give such a good performance. Like, you really... Go back and watch, like, her scenes in the first couple of episodes. She was very, like... Ah, what's it called? Like, like very straightforward. Just, you know, here are the facts. This is what we're gonna do. There's nothing else. You know, and now she's she's shivering and she's this horrified, you know, when when that officer says, if I'm not sure you're telling me the truth, I will call what was it, Dr. Dr. Gorscht? You know, she yeah, she's they broke her, you know, and i I really appreciate that they show yeah, at first she, you know, she's she knows the score. She's known the score all along. She just didn't think they would be able to tra trace it back to her and capture her. And I really don't blame her for for breaking. The the torture was really 
uh, you know, just extreme. And we see Vel and Mon Mothma talking about Leda and, you know, yeah, Mon points out it's the only thing she's on time for. She contacted the Elder herself, or she, yeah, she even found him, I think she said. Not, not just contacted, but straight up, you know, she looked, where is there an Elder, and yeah. Um, yeah, and and uh, I think his name is Mosk. Talks to I keep forgetting his name. Um, I think Incel will do just fine. You know, telling him you know Andor's mother has died, and you know maybe he'll show up at the funeral, kind of thing. And. Let's see. Yeah, and and Cass manages to get back his stuff. Is is that the same person who was sleeping in the? I guess maybe. Holy crap! I guess there's some chance that she was. Was she arrested too? Because, I mean, they're gonna. If if she was, they would say she's been harboring a criminal. You know. She, yeah, I think that was a different person, and he broke into someone else's place. And they just hadn't moved the stuff. I don't know. I, I could be wrong. Anyway, that brings us to... Yeah, uh, you know, Luthen tells Saw about the, the ISB, so it's not, you know... And, yeah, Saul realizes that means you must have an inside man. And he straight up asks Luthen, would you burn me too? You know, Rock, it's your decision. And Saw demands to know who the inside man. Luthen claims it's tubes, or as the, you know, whenever he says something and it's translated in the in the subtitles, it's apparently he's called two tubes, which does make sense. Let's see. I, I guess that's a bit like calling a, a human being mouth face. Uh, and he, yeah, he pulls a gun, and you know, Saw. I really love Saul doesn't panic. He's just immediately, you know there's no way you're getting out of here alive. You know, it's, it's, there is literally, because cause Saul is paranoid. You know, he has guards every, yeah, not everywhere, but he has a lot of guards in his place. And they, yeah, I'm sure they've run drills hundreds of times saying, okay, if someone... You know, if someone is in here and trying to get out, here's what we'll do. And, yeah, you know, Luthen, if he tried to shoot his way out, would not be able to. And Luthen doesn't for a second think that that's it. You know, or, or that's that's not Luthen's plan. He doesn't think that he can shoot his way out. He pulls a gun on Saw to get him to listen. You know, and it's, it's great. And, and that's the thing. Like, Luthen, I really love this character. He always does what the situation requires. If he has to offer Cassian Ping double, if, if Cassian listens to him, he's going to offer double. If he needs to lie to, to Vel and Cass about the situation with Aldani, you know, he, he doesn't tell Vel who Cassian is, and he doesn't tell Cassian just how serious, how, how dangerous it is, and this whole, you know... And, yeah, you know, Saw refuses to listen to him, so he pulls a gun on him. And, and like, not just, like, passively, no, 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 he points it, like, at his face. So there's, like, real, you know, just, yeah, and he, he just, you know, he gives a monologue. I could listen to Skarsgård giving monologues forever. And Saw agrees for the greater good, and, and Luthen says... You know, you know, Luthen doesn't seem to like that. You know, no, 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 that's you know, and you know, call, call it what you want. I call it war. And Luthen and Clea speak in code, knowing they might be bugged. Actually, yeah, probably are bugged. And straight up, like, because every single thing, if if you're just looking at the words they're saying, like. You know, the, the whatever the Imperial Sap is, you know, probably an intern, is sitting there going over, I don't know, I mean, okay, so they're talking about, they have a specific item, 
but they might be losing the customer for that item to a different seller and they're like really you know okay so this this one guy is super insistent that the the woman he works with not lose the customer and she's like I'm doing everything I can I don't know I guys I don't think I should be listening to this it's it, we, we're getting nothing from here you know but if you actually pay attention no no, no you know they they yeah they have some very it clearly they are you know yeah there's there's code there I just really really great job um I don't think I've said this on on camera before the, there's this I'm Danish Denmark was occupied by the Nazis and as such it was limited you know we couldn't send troops to fight the Nazis so we tried to fight them on the home front and one of the things that helped keep spirits high was that there was the um, possibly more than one but at least one song was written that to the Germans who don't have you know the average German at the time at least hadn't learned Danish so they didn't understand all the you know all the nuances of the Danish language so to them it sounded like oh it's, it's a love song is this you know, what whatever sentimental crap whatever if that if that'll keep them you know if if that helps keep the peace whatever you know okay so it sounds like it's this guy who's really in love with this woman and he's like praising her and said you know whatever I don't care but to a lot of Danes you know for the yeah it was about loving the country loving Denmark you know so it was a way to keep the spirits high so yeah I I learned that I think I was probably still a teenager when I learned it and I've never forgot it's just love when when people can get stuff like that by dictators and let's see so yeah Luthen is caught up to by an imperial patrol ship I don't think I've seen that ship at, at least not in any live action so yeah and the tractor beam Luthen has something up his sleeve countermeasures very tense and suspenseful as he readies it and has to pretend you know the 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 officer on the 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 imperial ship is like okay we, we've given you the or please respond you know and and counting down and all this stuff and Luthen's like sorry I'm the only person on this ship, so I have to manually deal with these overheating engines or whatever it was, and and yeah, manages to to you yeah the countermeasures destroying the the tractor beam, and the Tie Fighters he managed to outmaneuver and shoot. Tell me that the 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 side lasers don't remind you of Tony Stark. As it, you know, the Iron Man. I think it's from yeah, Iron Man two and onwards. He has the, you know, where where they come out at the. Well, that's the, yeah. Now I'm struggling to remember exactly where the the beam emits, but you know, in Avengers, he uses it. And and it yeah, and and they fire out the 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 sides. So yeah. I can't be the only person who made that connection. And it's, you know, it was one of the popular ones for Iron Man, so I'm sh I I figure that's probably what they were, you know, we already know that they you know, with with Rise of Skywalker, they tried desperately to recreate the the success of Endgame, so yeah. And yeah, he he goes into hyperspace and the scene ends on the lead officer who's clearly fearing punishment for their failure and the reflection of the busted up tractor beam you know covering part of of his body so it's like cuz cuz you know he's also a cog and machine and there's yeah this might be the last mission he gets to you know maybe they'll they'll bust him way down maybe they'll execute him to make an example but certainly he's not getting away scot free and yeah, we we see Cass being told and Marva is dead. I do really appreciate that the the guy and and it was someone who actually knew Cass. You know, he he doesn't just 
lie and say, I'll, I'll be sure to, to tell her, you know, and, and Cassian is talking about, you know, she'd be proud of, she'll be proud of me, uh, you know, kind of thing, just, uh, yeah. That's just love. Nothing, it can't, can't be helped, or whatever the, the line was. And Mel, she wants to split up, double their chances. Someone has to tell people what's going on. And Cassian agrees and hands him the, the gun. You know, he had two guns in the the box of, of his stuff that he left at the, the beach place. And I know it's it's not a huge deal, but I do kind of love that he did keep the one that's so reminiscent of the, the blaster used by Kyle Katarn. So, yeah. And, yeah, as usual, make sure you watch Jesse Gender's video on the episode. She went into detail about some things that, you know, yeah, because she already went into detail on them, I chose not to, for the ones that I didn't really have anything to to add to what she said. So, uh, let's see. I Yeah, I suppose I'll, I'll just really quickly say I liked the... Um, you know, she she was not a big fan of Luthen being, you know, having to deal with the patrol ship, but is, you know, she's she's like maybe the ah, what's it called? In in the future, there will be a uh, consequence to that, and I agree that definitely that will make it more interesting. She she said that it didn't feel earned here, and yeah, that is that is true. Uh, let's see, I think that was the only thing, right, uh, I have to admit, I didn't actually realize until she said it, but yeah, this prob this is a bit more of a bridging episode, this is about, you know, getting people into place for the, f you know, finale, and yeah, so, I will be recording one more video this week, so stay tuned for that. And I'll catch you next time.